Hi guys, Retro Django here. Welcome back to my channel. I got another Amiga 2000 and I just want to make a quick video to show you what's inside of it because I got some new hardware here that I haven't seen before. Well, the main board is uh, version 6, revision 6. The battery has been removed. That's nice. We got an accelerator card here from MTech and it's called the 68020i. <laughs> um, it's got 4 megabyte uh, RAM built in and it runs with the 020 processor. Can be upgraded with the FPU and it runs at 15 megahertz. And uh, with a little jumper here, I can when I put it up uh, here at the next level here. Then it can actually run as a standard 68000 processor if you have compatibility problems. But as we all, we all, all know that the O20 is really compatible with the WSD Log Gaming. So it's a nice, nice accelerator card. I, I, I really like this one. Um, and it runs perfect, guys. I, I, I really like this one. So uh, under this one, we've got the Kickstart version 2. So, uh, 020 processor, 68000, we got a, I'm so sorry it's dark, but we got a uh, SCSI controller called Data Flyer, um, and it's got a built-in SCSI hard drive, I don't know how many megabytes, and we got a uh, 2 megabyte RAM board here. Also got this uh, Commodore um, A2300. Oh, it's a Genlock. A Commodore Genlock here. Um, I actually... I don't know how to use this one. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, I got a Genlock. I, I, I don't know anything about them, so yeah. But I just want to show. Uh, I just want to show uh, the hardware inside. Let's let's take a little. Um, let's reset this and um, and enter sys info uh, just to see how this one um, how this one uh, runs. <laughs> uh, I really love this. Uh, uh, that the LED for the hard disk, hard disk works. Um, it doesn't work with the compact flash cards, so uh, it's nice. First time ever I see one of these. Uh, it can be used on Amiga 2000 and also on Amiga 500. But I'm also, th I also think I I I'm not sure, but. Um, I mean, you just pull out the 68000 and uh, put it in the same socket. So maybe, maybe it can be run uh, with an Amiga 1000 also. But I haven't checked, guys. It was just uh, as it is. Um, okay, the hard disk here. Um, the disk drives are not connected. So let's check um, WST load here. Oh, I'm so sorry, I meant um, sysinfo. Uh, no, must be here then. I'm so sorry, the, the camera films... Uh, it doesn't look that good on the, on the phone here. Here we go, okay. So, um, we've got memory here. As you can see, six megabytes of fast RAM and one megabyte chip RAM. Yeah. Well, I wish I could. Isn't there any way to show what gives what? No. Oh, maybe boards. Two seconds. Yes. There we go. So we got a um, four megabyte of RAM. That's um, the four megabyte is here. It says um, it says MTech. You can see one four megabyte. So I think this is the maximum amount of RAM capacity it can 
it can uh, work with. So uh, the CPU, the, the X-Rated card got built in 4 megabytes, so that's really, really nice. The um, Tatcha Flyer expansion <laughs> for the hard drive has got 64 kilobytes of RAM, nice. And the Zorro board, Zorro 2 Supra RAM got 2 megabytes. As you can see in the... Oh, here at the top, the RAM banks are all populated, but we got three other rows. So I think this one can have, well, <laughs> eight megabytes maximum. So this one runs with an um, O20, 15 megahertz with six megabytes of RAM. So WHD load gaming is possible here. Uh, with high compatibility and a really nice system if you want to play WHD load games, absolutely. So what do we have here? We got just over three times faster than the Amiga 2000 here. Amiga 2500 that runs with 020, 14 megahertz is just a tad faster than that. So. Um, yeah, it's a really, really nice system, as you can see. O20, 14.90 megahertz, 15 megahertz. Let's go. So, um, yeah, it's a nice system. Works great, guys. Um, what's inside the inside the hard disk? I don't know. It's got uh, a lot of stuff here. Um, it, it runs well, and oh, oh, dang. Oh, nice, it's in Danish. <laughs> um, we got the graphic here. Um, and I know none of this. I don't know. Yeah, it's got a lot of stuff. Well, this hot disk is, is, is from back then, you know. It's got something called Scala. Um, original discs, yeah. Magic menu, WSD load. Oh, nice. I just, I looked here and I looked under the wall and it had Canon Fodder 1, 2 and Project X. We got Gremlins also. WSD load version 7.0. Damn, it's an old version. <laughs> okay, let's um, let's put in the rest of the stuff. I just want to show you. I just want to have the, this on my YouTube channel because I have never seen one of these before. And when will I ever see one of these again? So um, this is how it looks, guys. I'm so sorry the light is not the best, that, that's because it's really really late, uh, one of my late night videos. <laughs> well the WST load uh, works perfect with the O20. Nice. Let's put in the rest of the stuff. Okay it came with two disk drives, now bear with me, nothing has been cleaned, this is just how I got this machine. So two, two, two disk drives and I can hear them click, it's all right. But guys, look at this disk drive, uh, CD-ROM drive. I think it's just so awesome. It came with the, something called Fish Market. And we slide it down here. Uh, and this must be the front side. Look at this. It's just awesome! Oh, the camera doesn't pick it up, but the display works. And uh, we got something here now. Uh, fish market. I have absolutely no idea what it is, but something with fishies. <laughs> yeah. So the CD-ROM drive works, let's quit that. 
and and look look at how it ejects. I, I I just love this. Look at this. Isn't that just awesome, guys? I really like that. All right, everything is ready now. I just uh, just found a a CD that I made some time ago for my Amiga CD TV. So let, let I don't know if it works, but. This CD is uh, just just a copy for the CD TV, and uh, I just want to check uh, to see if it works here with the Mega 2000. <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh, let's let's give it a go. I just I just I love the Mega 2000. I have I don't know how many of them, but. The Amiga 2000 is just magic for me. I really love that uh, this one. So um, yeah. Okay. This is just awesome, guys. There we go. Um, Yeah, nothing happens. Oh, the hard disk. Oh. Yes, we got something here. 17 bit data. Oh. It works, guys. That's just awesome. Uh, what's this? The 17 bit disk copier. Um. Okay, it's just a disc with a, a lot of content here. Can I do it like this? Oh my god, 400 intros, ray traced pictures. So if I, what do I do? Oh, okay, if you, if you want something from this uh, CD-ROM, I think, then I, if I want this Castle Warrior, then I think I have to press here, copy to disk. Yeah, instead of right enable disk, so we can copy the files from the CD-ROM to the disk. Well, that's nice. Escape, no. All right. I mean, and the way it pushes it out. <laughs> I really like this. Okay, so we got a built-in uh, built-in CD-ROM drive. Again, nothing cleaned. NEC multi spin 3x, and the um, LED display there works. Um, it's a nice system, guys. So it can read, um, it can read CD, uh, CD TV discs. So um, yeah, again, that's nice. We got the GAN lock here. <laughs> um, other than that, yeah, it it runs fine. It's fast. Um, I mean, this Casio hard disk is fast. I cannot follow. <laughs> well, what's this? This is anti-virus program here. Nice. I also have other stuff for uh, Amiga 2000, but I will put all those stuff in another Amiga 2000. This is just, um, this is one I got recently and um, yeah, it, it worked fine. It, this one was actually, uh, this one was actually, um, what's it called? Being used with a multi-sync monitor and he said that this one had I don't know if it was something with the GAN lock, but it had some 
different video modes. Let's just reset and let's just check it out. It will just take two seconds, guys. And um, and this little hole, it was for the switch before WHD Log Gaming. Uh, he used this with the accelerator card so it could um, so it could use it as a oh uh, a sixty eight thousand seven megahertz when the game didn't games didn't work properly. But uh, after WSD load, he just removed that, so uh, it runs with the O20 as it is. Um, but let's just check. I, I love the hot disk loading sound and all that. It's just... Yeah, it's so old school, <laughs> but I like it a lot. <laughs> okay, so um, how do we... It's workbench. I just need to check display modes, guys. I think it's here. And... Screen mode. Because he said the monitor he used was crazy. Oh, there we go. It's got something here. Super 72. There we go. Multi-scan. I'm really looking forward to use that monitor. It's at my friend's place now, but eventually I will get it home and review it on my channel. I, I don't think uh, these are standard in in Workbench, but I'm not sure. I'm not the biggest Workbench user. Um, I just use WST Load Games. <laughs> That's what I love. So just for the last time, let's just check the sysinfo here. Oh, not this one, I um, mean this one. It's just great. So for WSD.Gaming, Gaming, this is a nice machine. Just a quick video, guys. With the old 20 here. Oh man, it's nice. And it works perfect. I mean, everything is just great. And I love this drive also. It's just, yeah. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed this, uh, checking out this Amiga 2000, it worked as it should, so uh, I just want to say thank you for watching, more is on the way, bye!